Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's your boy Obadiah coming at you from the backyard garden again today. Welcome to Obadiah's Garden. Hopefully everybody's having a good day and a good weekend and everything else. A good week with all the protests and the rioting and looting going on. Hopefully everyone's safe that's watching. But anyways, um, I'm just bringing you guys out because I wanted to do a really quick update. This video will be a kind of short one. Um, but I was just wanted to show you guys some very brief, um, you know, looks at what I got going on out here. Um, so I'll start with these. Here's the five, okay? We got one, two, uh, three, the science experiment, <clears throat> four, and then five DWC. So we'll start over here. This one's the CBD big bud. All right, and um, she's doing really well. They've, I've got them all quite uh, bent and secured, as you can see. Um, some of the leaves still have a little bit of the uh, issue from last week with the heat. And in fact, as I look at this one, she needs just a little bit more water. Um, I'm just kind of noticing. But I did give her some water this morning. But it's been pretty warm out the last two days, so I want to make sure we keep them watered. But anyway, um, I cleaned her up a little bit. I removed most of the leaves that have, you know, these kinds of things on them. But you can see that I, I bent her in specific ways. Um, she topped right here at the main. This was the main top right there. And uh, she's got, you know, I'm stretching her out in both directions here so that she rides along the outside of the, uh, the jar here, you know, her jar. And these are in seven gallons, for those of you that don't know. And uh, she's, she's really healthy. This plant is looking super nice um, for her condition. You know, everything's nice and strong. You can see that the, uh, the new shoots are, are strong and viable looking good I was thinking about cloning this one. Oh yeah I took some clones from these about a week ago um, and they died on me they didn't work so I gotta do it again but anyways I'm um, gonna take you over here to number three she is fantastic she's just now starting to get to the shape and she's a little bit light so I'll need to water her too but um, that means that they're all gonna need some more water but anyway uh, she's doing good she's doing really good actually I've got most of her stretched as you can see over to this side I, don't know, I, I know it's kind of difficult to tell just the way she's shaped here, but the, basically she's got the central, uh, you know, stalk is right up the middle, and she's bent back by about 30 degrees. And then up here, uh, she, I topped her right there, as you can see. Okay. And then the two main stalks, follow them up. There's one that goes straight back, back to here, which is topped right here again. And then the second one, is right up here and she went up in this direction just like that and then this one I don't think I topped this yeah I did so this one has also been topped almost all of them have been topped these tops here you know uh, this top this top this top over here you know these like right here you can see I think I think you'll probably be able to see yeah right there you can see where I topped it and then over here as well you know Everything's looking real viable, real healthy. There's new growth everywhere I look, so that's a good thing. And she's uh, really speeding up. This one is, um, she's starting to do a lot better than she was a few weeks ago. For whatever reason, she's just now picking up, like, really heavily. So I'll probably get rid of some more fan leaves as time goes on, like these ones here. It's just big, and it's really not doing much for me right now. So we'll see. But the new growth is very solid, and that's what I'm happy for. Uh, this one here, she's doing fantastic. She just has some scars from her uh, battle with the heat about a week ago. As you can see down here on that fan leaf, you know, hopefully you can see that. But this big fan leaf right down here that I'm holding on to, she's uh, scarified to say the least. But anyway, uh, you can see the overall structure of her up top here. This one's a little bit tall here, so I'll have to do something to bend her. Uh, so we'll get that figured out, but um, either way, I've got every one of these topped, so the main ones are topped, so this one was topped, this one was topped, uh, and this one back here was also topped, that one back there, okay, um, and then there's right here, if you look closely, what I've done is I've bent the two inners right here, and on the other one I did the same thing as well, so these are bent outward, and they're secured with twine, or it's a hemp, hemp rope, okay, uh, and all I do is tie them to the next one down, Right here you can see, this is the knot right there from above. She goes up and holds down, okay? And then this one is tied at the end, right there, sorry. 
and then she's tied all the way down to the bottom of the pot. So they get secured that way. You can literally just double them up. You tie one to the pot and then you tie the next one up to that one down below it. And you can do that all the way up to the top. I've done it for a few years. Um, I just didn't do it last year very much because I didn't have the right structure going on. But this year we do. And she's looking really good. I think I'll be stopping pretty soon with the topping because she's going to sit at like 24 heads right now, I think, or 28 heads. And I only want like 32 maximum for the whole plant. So if I can help it or right around that number because then they just start to get really small. But um, she's bending and topped, and we're good. Science experiment. She's uh, doing her thing. You know, she just kind of does her thing, honestly. I just let it go. Um, I prune off some of the big fan leaves as they come, and you can see she's starting to fill out just a little bit. And then I pull the main uh, branches away from the main stalk, tie them down, and this is what you get, you know? So she's really healthy. She's looking really good in her current state really really happy about it actually you can see how bent that central structure is or that central stock how she twists around to get bent but before my video cuts me off I want to show you the DWC she's looking fantastic you guys I mean look at her all of this is that is just that one DWC plant she's easily twice as big as her sisters you know easily and if I was to take off all the supports and stuff and the tie downs that I have in there um, you would see that she's even bigger you know as you can tell she's been she was topped right there okay I held her down and then right here she's pulled aside as you can see I'm gonna get that out of the way for you so you can kind of see what we're doing here right right here and then she's got a dramatic turn because what I did is I just took my bungee cords right here these little small bungee cords this one and I just let it rest on that stem right there that's all I did I just hung it down there and then I hung it on another branch down here just for some stability and I did that on both sides so from the top you know you can kind of see right that are two branches are here the main ones they've been pulled aside and then um, I'll do the same to this one like I did on that one whenever I pull these secondaries to the side I'll pull them over and I'll pull these over just like that and they'll get tied down all right and then that oh and these have been topped right here you probably can't see that well, you might be able to but she's been topped right there and they've mostly all been topped and then um, this one's the third level down so I let it just go naturally it comes up and then the uh, second level down is tied down as well and then over here the same thing this is the very bottom leaf you know or uh, stock stem whatever and as is this one next to her and then they'll just come up I top the one above it or bent it rather and bent the one above that so that they'll both have time to come up and meet their sisters and then you get supportings like this you see this little shoot here she's starting to grow nice and healthy because she's got a nice support underneath her she's sitting right on top of that stock so she's gonna be very strong when she gets big and then I did a little bit of default to bring the Sun you know bring it in and get it some better penetration and uh, everything's doing good so I just wanted to tell you guys that um, it's all done with just basic LST. I bend and secure and literally like ghetto methods, dude. Just literally, you guys, look at this right here. There's two paper clips holding tape and the bottom paper clip is sitting underneath of the lip of the, the bucket like that. So it just rests under the bucket. And then when I take it off, it just comes right off. It's no problem. And it, it goes right back on, no problem, you know? And then I did it over here. You can secure it the same way, you know? I have the pumps inside here for just space, to save space, you know. Um, she's doing really good. The, the roots are healthy. They're doing fine. Uh, water level is a little bit low today, so I got to give her some more water. She literally drinks about a half a gallon every 12 hours. I'm giving this thing a lot of water. So, and that's great because she is fantastic. I really think DWC is the future here for me, and it should be the future for some of you guys too if it's hot and you're in a small space so just take a look at her she's a beauty i'm very proud of this plant you know she's firing on all cylinders of synthetic nutrients she's got a few you know i'm not gonna lie she i am using my flora like i explained earlier but she's not all pumped up you know i don't have her just stacked